What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs and Doki Fanatics? Sanjay X17 here. I am back with my DDLC Take Two, which is the mod for Doki Doki Loja Club. The last time you guys started playing this, I ended up doing Magus Route and everything. I did say it was going to be either Sayuri, Shiro, or Tip. But it's definitely going to be one of the three this time. You'll just have to find out who it is when I do the poem mini game once more. Because it's time to dive in, and let's do it to it. Here we go. Let's see. Oh boy. I see all the words here, but... You know who I'm gonna choose, right? Cute! Ha ha ha! I'm not cute! <laughs> uh, I can't help it. Anyway. Hmm. Uh. Flourish? Oh, that's Monica. Come on. Focus on a Doki you haven't done yet. Because I've, like I said, I've done Natsuki and Monica. I need to, I gotta focus on one of the three that I said I was gonna do. Hmm. Blue to Shiro. Castle? That too is Shiro. So, so far I got two for Shiro. Play? Oh, that play is Sayuri. Let's see here. Uh. Air? Oh, that's Natsuki. Hmm. Uh. I know depression is Sayuri. Broken? That too is Sayuri. That's tip. Pose is tip. Uh. Sword? That's Shiro. AZ? That's Tap. Hmm. All right. Otaku? Oh, that's Shiro. Conquer? Oh, that's Shiro. Fireball? That's Tip. Fireball to Sayuri. Rap is tip. Dead? Hmm. That's Sayuri. Hmm. Got my answer. Got my answer, guys. Tip is gonna be the focus for this video. Curious about our new girl, 
I go to visit Tiff. It'd be nice to make sure she feels welcome in the club. She's sitting at a desk, minding her own business when I walk up. She doesn't seem to notice me right away. Hello, Tiff. Ah, hey, little Sonyx. How are you? How are you today? That's why I was coming to ask you. How are you doing in the club so far? Ah, uh -huh, I'm doing all right. It's nice here. I just thought we will be a little more organized. Eh? What do you mean? Oh, sorry. I meant that I expected we'd be doing something more as a group. Ah, uh, okay. We will be later. We just we just get a lot of free time as well. Ah, uh, I wish I knew that sooner. I would have brought something with me to do. I was caught off guard at first myself. I was also used it to spend time with the other members. Well, that's nice. Is it my turn today? You can say it is. <laughs> Alright. Alright then. I guess we should figure out what to do together. Do you have any books to read? Not at all. I was thinking about using this time to practice writing. But that's more of a one person thing. Oh yeah? What kind of stuff do you write? Sorry, Legs. Well, I guess I say... I, should, I guess I just say... Rap lyrics? Like I mentioned when I joined, I'd like to be able to make my own craft someday. The eyes are back to normal. I'm still wondering if the Doki eyes look like Pokeballs if you look at it close enough. I'm still curious about that. Anyway. I'm good at coming up with singular rhymes, but feeling a song together is much more difficult. I believe it. I have a hard, I have a hard enough time writing poetry. Do you? I thought that what you read, you read at the best one was all right. Eh, <laughs> I didn't write that one myself. I just recited it. Oh, I see. Uh, anyway, what you writing like? Are there any tips or tricks you you enjoy using? Not especially. I ain't that clever. I have some exercises that I try, but that's about it. Like what? You really want to know? Haha, <laughs> okay. How about I show you it's instead of just describing it? Tiff gets up and heads over to the closet. I can't imagine what she has in mind. Uh-oh. Don't you know who's around with the closet, Tiff? Barely within range when Natsuki suddenly pops into view. What are you doing, you doing? Hey, I'm not Sue. I just need to get a book from the closet. Well, top block, these books are in public access. Um, uh, why is that? You just don't buy manga. I'm not running a library here. Huh? You're manga? Yeah, duh. You see all these series of box sets? Gosh, you have quite a collection. I didn't know you kept them here in the closet. But they're not what I'm here for, so don't worry about that. Yeah, fine. Just take whatever it is you need. Thank you. I'll just be a second. Tip pulls a large book out of the closet and takes it back over to her desk. What the heck did she grab? No clue, but a book that big is only good for crushing spiders. <laughs> Had to get a spider reference then, huh, Natsuki? <laughs> In case you don't know, she was mentioning that spiders was one of the things that Natsuki was talking about. In the poem, Amy Like Spiders. Still need to figure out what that reference is, too, though. Oh, well, maybe I do know the reference, I just can't remember it right away. But anyway... Tim sets the book down with a heavy thud. It's only now that I get a proper look at it. Um... The dictionary? Yep. You got an ask for a better source of words. I have a little game I like to play to find new rhymes that are born in my vocabulary. 
You start by opening it to a random page. Jim flings the book open with another loud thud. It rattles the desk a little. Hey, pick a one from there. Doesn't really matter which one. Okay, I see. Ignore. Alright, try to think of one that rhymes with it. Uh, how about be store? That works. Then we can turn this section be store I said. Done. Now we pick another one that starts with R. Like, we pray. Rhymes with say. <laughs> This is turning into a, this is turning into a rhyme now, isn't it? <laughs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? This is a little weird, to be honest. Hey, you asked. She's got you there, MC. Well, I guess I can see how this could be a good exercise. It's not always this easy. Some words are very difficult to rhyme. Like, I just sit right here. You keep going back and forth between pages for a while. Some of them do get pretty tough. There are even some words neither of us know how to say. We have to pass on a few overly hard ones. Eventually, we are interrupted by someone approaching us. Is it Monica? Oh, it's Yuri. This, uh, this song is interesting. Um, I beg your pardon. But, what are you two doing? Hey-o, Yuri! We're making rhymes. Rhymes? What for exactly? No reason, really. Just for fun and practice. Then what are you doing to that book? Oh, is that the dictionary? It sure is. Uh, I'm sorry. That's the last thing I expected you to be reading. Recreational resource out of it. Uh, I can see that. I, uh, don't suppose I could. Do you, did you want, did you want in on this? Not quite. Just that, since you're making rhymes, may I ask to help, for help with a few? <coughs> Sorry. Do you need help rhyming something? You've come to the right girl! Yes, I'm looking at a poem, a uh, project, and I'm struggling to find the right words. Well, I'll be happy to help. Just tell me what you're stuck on. Thank you. Though it might be difficult without any context. I need a word that ends with an E, with a double E sound. So it rhymes with C. It also needs to pertain to the unknown, or things that cannot be observed. Huh, that's pretty specific! How long is the line? It's about, it's about eight syllables, so there's room to work with. Okay, why not keep it simple and just use mystery? Uh, I can say that, but I already used that word earlier on. Ah, so you want to avoid repetition? That's good right, Yuri! Is it part of another ride before? No, it's in the middle of a phrase. In that case, maybe you just need a synonym for mystery. A synonym? That had occurred to me. Oh, Enigma would fit nicely. Sounds good to me. Any others? I also need a rhyme for the word hold. Huh? There are plenty of rhymes for that. Bold, bold, cold, gold. Well, it's in regard to spoken word, or lack thereof. You mean like something being told? Uh, almost. But I think I can use that word as the root. Because I'm told fits perfectly. Thank you, Tiff. No problem, Yuri. If you ever need any more, if you, need, if you ever need more rhymes, you know where to find me. Yes, it's not often that I do, but I'll keep you in mind. Thanks again. Anytime. Yuri timidly steps away, leaving us alone. <clears throat> you made pretty short work of that. You really are good at this. 
not that great. Like I said, I don't care with individual rhymes. Hey, you just helped the girl as accurate as Zuri. I think that counts for something. I'm sure she could have gotten them on her own. Sometimes words just slip your mind. Well, they didn't slip yours, so give yourself some credit. Eh, uh, fair enough. Before we continue our activity, we hear Marco begin to make an announcement. What are you doing with Tiffany? Just hanging out. She showed me some one of the she showed she showed me one of the ways she practices rhyming. Uh don't you ever don't you ever make a what you're saying, MC? Because hanging out is not the good time to say. Especially who's on screen. Dictionary. We prefer to do it for we prefer to do it for things to try rhyming with. <laughs> so that's what you ran into. I just wanted to talk to you and tell you what was going on. Yeah, that version is uh comprehensive. She wanted some rhyming advice, of all things. I thought so too. Maybe I'll find out why later. Alright. It's poem time again. Now I gotta find words that associate with Tiff. Alright. D? Yep. That's a word for tip. Hmm. Bingo? Oh, that's Yuri. Hmm. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Hmm. Humble? Yep, humble's tip. Alright. Hmm. Essence? No, oh, that's Yuri. Monica. Hmm. This is harder than I thought. I got a feeling Periwinkle is Shiro. Oh, wait, wait, is it? I'm gonna regret this, ain't I? Oh, Periwinkle is Tip! I guess I it was no regret. No, it was for a second there. But anyway. Dino? Oh, that's Monica. Man, this is harder than I thought. Mother? Mother is Tiff. Oh man, as much as I want to. As much as I want to. I I'm sorry, but... Cute! <laughs> ah, ah, cute! Our face, Natsuki. Portrait, Jury. Cheeks, Natsuki. Hmm. Man, this is really something, isn't it? Hmm. Warm? Oh, that's Sayori. Man.
Freya? Well, that's Sayuri again. Grab this tip. Better? Oh, that's Sayuri. I got worried there. I haven't even seen Tiff again. Perhaps she has something more to do today. She's rocking to a tune when I approach, but spots me right away. Hello, Sunny X. Back to visit? Hi, Tiff. Yeah, I thought I'd drop in on you again. I certainly don't mind, but I don't really have any plans either. No plans? Even though you have more time to prepare? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just not in the mood for writing today. I feel too ready to check. I don't want to just sit around. That's why I have, that's, that's why I was having my own little jam session over here. I could tell. You may enjoy music, huh? Every second, there ain't much I can get into, though I do before songs with lyrics. Once I got my groove, I just can't stop moving. Are you gonna dance it, Sonyx? Dancing? No, not at all! You sure? You never practiced? I never tried? Mostly the latter. I play enough rhythm games to know I suck at them. I imagine dancing would go much better. That's no excuse. For all you know, they'd be the most fun thing ever. I don't know about that. That's what I just said. Even so, it's not like I have many opportunities. Uh, maybe you just maybe you just don't notice when you have them. In fact, we have one right here, right now. What? You think there's time to dance now? Yeah, it's our free time, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but. I'm going to take a quote from Interview Club from Natsuki. Just when you thought you get to the bottom, it just keeps getting weirder. I mean, I know it's for the questions in Interview Club, but... I really don't know what to make of this. Honestly, I don't. But anyway... Before I can react, Tiffany steps in close and takes my hands. 
Hey, who are you? Here. Let me leave since you are that familiar. With that, Tip and I begin to watch. At this proximity, I can smell her perfume every more strongly. It's flowery and pleasant, but I can still detect another scent as well. <laughs> Sayuri's wondering what's going on. Uh, what are you two doing? The dancing, Sayuri. I'm sure you're just making it weirder. No, that's right! This is lots of fun! Let's keep up, let's keep a moment, side hex. Why, why dance it just went spot? I don't know if that's... I'm here with my son. Tiff begins to leave me around the room. <laughs> that's actually funny seats like you just do that. <laughs> anyway. Oh boy, Natsuki, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I suddenly awkward try to keep it up. She somehow maintains her composure the whole time. Would you call me back off? Hey, Tim, I think our dance is upsetting Natsuki. Seems like it. Maybe we should steal this... this... Somewhere else? Yeah, you better! What are you even doing this for anyway? We continue our journey through the club away from Natsuki. Even I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you even are very scared. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. You cross the room, you Shiro, who's turning away without a care. I have no clue why you're doing this. My thoughts exactly. We just made the charge cable, and that touch plugged in. Thanks for the heads up. As if he had yes, as if he had jinxed it, I immediately stumble over the cable on the floor. Tiff helps me regain my balance, but the cable popped out of the laptop. What did I just tell you? Sorry about that. It's alright. You didn't hurt anything. Wouldn't you for your own sake? <laughs> she would reattach the reattaches the cable to his laptop as we continue our way. All this left is Monica, isn't it? Eventually we find ourselves close to where we started. Tip, do you plan on going much longer or Hold on, this song's almost done. I hadn't noticed, but Tip was wearing her earbuds this whole time. No wonder she kept up the beat so well. It's then that I feel someone tap on someone tap me on the shoulder. Is it Monica? Yeah, it's Monica. My ever step in? Oh, a charger appears. Oh man. Okay. This is probably the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. That's without Monica's tampering in the main game. <laughs> anyway. Hey, you made good this. I've done my show before. Ah! Did you really have to do that though? I didn't mind the watch that Tip was doing the MC, but. Did you really have to do that pose again? I've done it enough times when I did you, Monica. <laughs> hey, Marty, you got some moves. Uh, I'm only as good as my dance partner. Uh, hey, thank you. I guess we, we better call it there. Sorry if that bothered you, y'all. No big deal. That's alright. I had fun! Just don't make it happen out of it. 
Don't worry, I won't. As for you, Sonyx, you were right. You got no rib at all. But thanks so much for dancing anyway. Haha. <laughs> eh, you're welcome. I feel pretty awkward, but Tiff enjoyed herself. It was kind of fun. Before everyone can return to their business, Marco makes her next announcement. First time I had to say, calm, I had to do calm down, Natsuki. Second time I had to encourage Monica. But now, it's time to side with Tip. Tip's right. This isn't how a club should be at all. It's supposed to be a place where we can come together and have a good time. Natsuki, I get that you're worried, but... Calling out Shiro isn't a way to fix that. It just creates more conflict. He has a point, Natsu. If you need to raise, 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 if you need to raise an issue, you should just talk it out instead. Do you want to try again? Calmly this time? Eh. Natsuki pauses for a while, but appears a, a lot less tense than when, than she was before. Man, I feel like every time I choose someone other than Natsuki, it's like a gut punch to my stomach, honestly. You guys, because you guys know how I am when it comes to Natsuki. Eventually, she finds her voice again and continues. Alright, what's more, calmly. I'm worried that... That... <coughs> That's okay. Come on, speak up. I just feel like the mood here is... different now. I guess having new members was more of a, an adjustment than I expected. <coughs> it's just... got me kind of on the edge is all. It feels like there's something... There was, there was something Natsuki is leaving unstated, but her concern seems genu genuine regardless. That's understandable, Natsu. When you're used to things being one way, it can be, it can be very upsetting when they change. I, I should know. I felt like my whole world was upside down when my family first moved here. But changes are always a bad thing. It can be scary, but sometimes it's just unfamiliar. You might even find it, find you like it better, once you're used to it. So don't feel bad for getting anxious. It's only natural to feel that way. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't complain about the mood if I'm making it like this. I let my paranoia get the better of me. I'm sorry. I should have lashed out. And thanks for help trying to help, Tim. Anytime, Natsu. Natsuki walks away to get her things. The club meeting is almost over. Wow, Tim. I'm impressed. You did it really well. Oh, there was nothing at all. I just want everyone to get along. Same as you. Well, I thought I could have the same effect. So, thank you. No problem. Have a good day, buddy. Tim goes to gather her stuff as well. Everyone's preparing to leave for the day. Did you have a good time dancing with Tim? Kinda. I'm really, I'm really not that much of a dancer. <laughs> you look like you were having fun. So did you, Dubby. Yeah, because I was having fun. <laughs> Stop saying that, Sayuri. What do you mean? She was so faithful, but that makes she knew I was trying to lead you! Huh? I guess I hadn't noticed. Yeah, she did steal me well. Especially with how I was stumbling around. Hey, you tell yourself that you're not much of a dancer. I think it's a great for the offensive ever! I think you're giving too much credit.
sometimes Sayori has mysterious is mysterious in more ways than one. But anyway. Yep, that's Tip. Uh, hmm. Arvon? Oh, that was Monica. Rap? Hmm. Tactic? Oh, that was Shiro. Oh, that was Monica again. Man. Come on. <clears throat> I know Periwinkle. Key? Wait, no, I think he's Monica. Show that it is Tip. Hmm. Irony? Oh, irony is Shiro. I know rhythm is Tip. That's Monica again. Oh, here was Natsuki, I forgot. Oh, dance with Sayuri. Come on. Man, this is harder than I thought. Well, at least I got one, another one to a tip. Rarity? Oh, that was Shiro. Pose. Rhyme. That was Sayuri. Oh man. The Q wasn't in this this one I would I would have chosen right away, but Uh, hmm. Okay, the dictation. Okay. Oh, man. Sometimes. That was another case I felt like I wasn't going to get tipped. But I got lucky once more. As I'm nearing the room, I spot Tip at the end of the hall. She's heading the opposite way. She rounds the bend and vanishes from sight. Normally I wouldn't think anything of this, but that corridor is a dead end. There aren't even, there aren't even any bathrooms in that direction. Curious, I decide what she's up to. As I approach, a familiar scent wraps around the corner towards me. Uh, Tiff? Uh, whoa. Am I seeing that right?
What is she holding? I did not expect to see that. I don't even know. I don't know what to say. Maybe that explains why her eyes are like that then. Let's continue. Oh. Oh. Well, you caught me. Tiff, is that what I think it is? If you think it's pot, then yes. Look, I know this seems bad, but there's a lot more to it than that that meets the eye, okay? If you can keep it on the down low, I'll, I'll really appreciate it. Tiff, I'm not sure what to say. Can we just go to the club for now? I'm not worriedly. My mind is racing with questions. <sighs> Tiff extinguishes the joint and tucks it in her blazer inside pocket. Blazer's inside pocket. From the same place, she takes out a small bottle of perfume. She sprays it in the air around her and lets it settle over her for a moment. That explains why those perf she has perf she has the smell of perfume. That's why she has it. And also why her eyes are like that. I'm shocked. I really am. Alright. Let's go. Tiff walks dejectedly around the corner. I follow her back to the club room. It seems we're the second to last one's in. Things are mostly normal here. Sayuri waves at me energetically. Not asking you you're doing the usual things. She was on his laptop, and Maka hasn't arrived yet. Everyone goes their separate ways. I follow Tip to a secluded corner of the room. I find her sulking and sulking and staring at the wall. I can't say I'm surprised. Tip? Sonny X, I'm really not in the mood to hang out. That's fine. I just want to talk. Mm. I don't think I'm really, I'm really up for that either. Tiff, I just want some kind of explanation. I can keep a secret if I have to. But this is pretty serious. You can get in big trouble for that. You don't think they'll kick me out of the club, do you? Honestly, you'll be lucky if they don't kick you out of the school. Oh gosh, Sonyx. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? I don't want to, but i like to hear the reason why. What's going on, Tip? Please tell me! It's complicated. It's never simple. Come on, you can trust me. I wish I could say it was an accident, or I just made a mistake. But no, I've been doing this for years. Where do you even get it from? You don't buy yourself, right? I take it from my mother's stash. It's too little for her to notice. She got hooked a long time ago. Truly after we moved here. It was a terribly stressful time for her, and for me as well. I started a few years back, but I was still very young when I did it. But why? What happened to you then? I came to realize a few things that I just couldn't deal with. Sorry for being vague, it's really personal. That's fine. Just say what you're comfortable sharing. The thing is, Sonyx, I ain't all, I ain't all I'm cracked up to be. I try to be friendly and get along with everyone, but it's so stressful for me. Most days I'm too anxious to even start a conversation. I feel like I can't be myself if I don't take the edge off somehow. Well, I can certainly understand that. I'm a, I'm a shut in for a reason. But that isn't so strange. In fact, I say it makes perfect sense. It gets deeper than that, Sonyx. Eh? There's more to it? There is, but I don't know if I should say. I don't want to shoulder you with my personal troubles. I see. Well, I can understand that too. You've explained enough already, so if you want to keep the rest to yourself, that's fine. But if you change your mind or need someone to talk to, 
I'm right here, okay? That's really insane, Sonyx. And, if I may add, you made a delightful addition to the club. You might feel anxious talking to people or whatever, but you've been, you've been great so far, and I'm happy you're here. Okay, that's very sweet of you to say. Thank you, Sonyx. A little understanding is all I ever asked for. We're doing fine, Sayuri. Tip was just a little down today. Oh, you sure looked sad while you were talking. I figured I'd see if I could help. I appreciate your son. The son X had me covered. <coughs> <laughs> He's really good at that. I'm not that great at all. I I I'm not that great at it. You. I just treat people like any de like any decent person would. That counts for a lot more than you might think. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you're both doing fine now. The coach, coach should be a happy place for everyone. <clears throat> Is everything alright over here? Goodness, Marty. Goodness, Marty too. And there is something. Tip was re Tip was feeling upset, but I helped her out. Did I show him as well? And you did too! Uh-huh. Just try to be supportive. Well, thanks, all three of you. It's good to know you care. <coughs> yeah, we know how to treat our clan members. You try your best! <laughs> I can see that. You're a very supportive bunch indeed. Over here. Yeah, really. It's just as well. I need to address the group anyway. I guess we're out of time for today. Sorry for dragging you down with me. It was no trouble at all, Tip. You can lean on me anytime. Before anything more can be said, Manga calls out for the club's attention. I was just so bothered about today. Um. I think I should keep it between me and her. Uh, Alright. I was just really worried about her. She's usually so cheerful. That's the first time I've ever seen her sad. I was just sure if it was like, you know. Like what? Like me? No, Sayori. She's not hiding a deliberating illness from everyone she knows. Or... If she is, she did tell me that part. Well, I thought you were there to cheer her up. She looked like she really needed it. I really don't get what you're saying. Not just as good as, good as me. I hope it will be a better. It's made that a big deal. So, is it so hard to be respectful of others? Things. Yeah, exactly. Good night, Sayuris. I'll never understand Sayuris. I'll never understand Sayuri. But this is the fourth one, and I know what's gonna happen as soon as I choose a word. Get ready, guys. see here. Like I said, I gotta choose words that associate with with Tiff. So... What about excitement? I'll have a Sayuri. Thought that was cute again. Not for the hell of it. Cute! <laughs> I'm not cute! Good. 
green. Tomato. Okay, let's see here. Scent. Hmm. Hmm. Drop. Oh, that's tip. Drop the B. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Mythical? Oh, that was Shiro. Sadness? Oh, that was Sayuri. Green? Lyric? Esteem? Yep. Pose? Like I said, I am surprised that's not Monica. Uh... Right. Oh, that was Monica. Hmm. Flower? Oh, that was Sayuri again. Festo? That was Yuri. That was Yuri. Okay, that was tip. That was tip. Okay. Tip? Haha, <laughs> what are you up to today? Not much. Just talk a, just take a little walk. How about you? Say, really? I like to get out on the, the weekend. I don't have any plans. So you going anywhere on your little walk? Yeah, back home. In a second here. You're just going home? On a beautiful day like this? Yep. Since you've got nothing else in mind, will it be alright if I take along? Sure, you can come if you want to. I love to. Lead the way. With tip and toe, I head back to my house. It feels like my day just got a lot more interested. Hey, nice place you got here. You caught me at a good time. It's not usually this well camped. I'll consider myself lucky. You know, it's a little strange seeing you outside the club. 
It is? I think Tiff would have a casual outfit as well. It's weird. It is? Yeah, like, you get used to being around someone in a particular setting. And you see them somewhere else, and it feels totally new. I get what you mean. It's hard to imagine seeing so many people in other places. Such as? I don't know. Like, manga, for instance? I hear you. Some folks seem like they fit one location too well. And Molly's just right at home in the club room. Ha ha ha. But hey, speaking of the club, I want to know something to commemorate my joining this week. Did? Is it a poem? For now, you can say it is. I like to make a song out of it, but I don't have a, I don't have a tune for it yet. I can also use a couple more verses. I've only finished the first part of it and the refrain. I guess I can show it to you if you want to see. Why not? I'll check it out. I'll check out what you've written so far. Okay, cool. Tiff reaches around in her bag and pulls out a folded up pa page. Eh, I'm a little self-conscious about this. I don't usually show my work. I'm sure it's fine. Here, let me see. Alright, hopefully it doesn't suck too much. Literature is lit. Hey yo, I'm here to tell you about a club that can't be beat. They love every kind of literature. And they're all... And they're all just so sweet. Molly's here to run the show, and Natsu brings the food. Sayo is here to help you out, while Yuri sets the mood. Sonyx is a real cool dude, and Tiff's just here to rap, while Shiro is ready and raring with his computer on his lap. We're the Lit Club, you know that we're legit. We're the Lit Club, it's a place you just won't quit. We're the Lit Club, get ready, this is it. We're the Lit Club, and you'll be a perfect fit. <laughs> I gotta say, that was cool. Well, what do you think? Tiff grants at me awkwardly. It looks like she's forcing it. I don't know what you're so worried about. It's off to a great start. This? You sure you're not just being nice? Nah, Tiff. I like it. You've done a good job. It's better than anything I come up with. Gosh, well... Thanks, Sonyx. I'm sure, I'm sure you could have done it too. Seems like there's plenty of room to expand on it. I'm guessing the last part is, is the refrain. Yeah, I was thinking the repeated line would be a part everybody shouted at once. What a lit club! Ha 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 ha! Do you think they'll ever go, go for that? They might. Yuri will probably need some convincing. Definitely. I can't imagine her shelter for any reason. Well, if she gets upset enough. You've seen her when she, when she is? Apparently, it's pretty rare. She and Natsuki had a little fight last week. Oh, what went down between them? That was when we first started sharing poetry as a group. Their ideas clash a bit. Oh, you guys used to share poetry together? About every day since I joined. When the club got bigger, Maga thought it would be too much to handle. Man, that stinks. I would love to see everyone's work. At least I got several from the festival booklet, I guess. I'm sure they'll be happy to show you if you ask. I'll see if I can work up the nerve. But that's for our time. Today, it's just us. Is there anything, anything you'd like to do? I'm open to I'm open to a suggestion. Have a look have a look at our, at our options. I gestured towards my entertainment center, filled with all manner of me media. My, you have you have quite a collection. Tiff looks over my various shelves of anime, games, and manga. How did you find anything all of this? I just remember where I put it. I know it's weird, but it only makes sense to me. I think I get it. But that doesn't make this any easier. I recognize a lot of the games in here. Oh yeah. Do 
you gain much? I have a couple of consoles from back home that I play pretty often. Where their games are my favorite, but I remember you saying you suck at them. I'm not much use for those. I can't even handle them on a regular control. Uh, that's not how they were made to be played anyway. I use a dance pad so I'm not just sitting around. Sometimes I even use... I even use it to get control of control regular games. I bet that makes things interesting. The fact of the game, it doesn't work with some genres at all. Like for instance... Tiff pulls a title off the shelf and holds it up for me to see. It's a multiplayer FPS. <laughs> you play that too? I sure do. I keep games that, that keep things rolling. So, actually stuff is great for me. Think you can take me on? Try me! We set up the game and get situated for some friendly competition. So, how good are you at this? Uh, we just have to see. It's been several rounds and Tip is mopping the floor with me. I kept up decently well, but she somehow managed to come out on top in most of our matches. After another well-placed headshot, she she's won another, another bout with herself. Had up yet? I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting you to get di to be this top. You didn't understand me just because I'm a girl, did you? Hardly. Well, okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Actually had enough. Oh, okay. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. They were good routes. Yeah, they were. But also, uh, I want to thank you for having me over as well. It's not a lot that I get the chance to do this sort of thing. Hey, it was my pleasure, but you have other friends you can play with too, don't you? To be honest, not really. I don't have any main friends at all. You don't? No way. A nice girl like you? It doesn't matter how nice you are when no one's paying attention to begin with. I've always been kind of a misfit. Usually it feels like people just look right through me. And moving you silly hasn't helped. <laughs> Tip's voice takes a small downward turn. Her mood has dropped noticeably. I'm not sure what brought this on so suddenly, but I think I better, a better ask her what's wrong. Tip, is there something you want to talk about? Sonyx, this is probably a real question, but... Have you ever had someone look at you and just decide you were worthless without even knowing anything about you? Um, not that I'm aware of. Why? It's a feeling that it's a little too, that's a little too familiar to me. I've always been the butt of the other people's assumptions. It's like they take one glance, some, get some idea of preconceived notions and just leave it at that. Back where I used to live, I caught it from all sides. My family was well, well off, but my peers just looked down at me, like I didn't deserve to be on their level. And the rest who were as fortunate, they resented me. They thought I was a stuck up or entitled. Then when my family moved here, nobody wanted anything to do with me. I'm just too different from them. I try so hard to be friendly, get along, show people what I really like. But it's like I have no voice. I can't make them hear me. The club is the closest I ever been to feeling like I belong. <coughs> Sorry. And even then, it doesn't always feel right. Oh, Tiff, that's terrible. No one should be treating you that way. You're not any less of a person. You deserve to feel welcome like anybody else. And what, that's what makes you different, Sonyx. 
That's why I appreciate this so much. Ever since you gave me the okay at the festival, I knew. You don't judge or make assumptions. You're respectful, you're respectful and kind. It's more than I c that come to expect from most people I meet. And it means a lot to me. Well, Tiff, I never do any less. Not just for you, but for anybody. It's common decency, and there's no reason to be any other way. I wish more I wish more people saw it like that, Sun X. You really are something. Thanks again for everything. Tiff gets up and begins to gather her things. Hey, where are you going? What are you doing? Sorry. It's been a great it's been a great time, Sun X. I need to get back home. My mom doesn't know I'm here. I don't want to worry her. Ah, uh, okay. I follow Tip to see her out and say farewell. Catch you another time, Sun X. It was really cool of you to have me over to visit. Don't sweat it. I'm just glad I could make you feel more at home. If you ever want to drop by again, you know where to find me. You're always welcome here. Ah, uh, that's good to know. I'll definitely take you up on it. Until then. Tiff goes on, goes on her way, leaving me with just my thoughts. I can't help but feel bad for her, knowing how lonely she must be. Is this the other reason she smokes? I push it from my mind. There's plenty of time left in the day, and there was no use dwelling on it. A few hours go by. I've been killing time playing more of the FPS from earlier. I still can't believe Tip wrecked me so hard at it. She proved quite a challenge. No sooner had I quit the game than, than I was alerted by a knock at my door front door. <laughs> Who could that be? If it was Sayuri, she would just come inside. I hear I head out to see who th who's there. Oh, Tiff again. Well, looks like she did again. Her eyes are different. Tiff, you're back. Did you forget something? Nah, nah, Sun X. I just want to see you again. There's kind of something I would like to talk to you about. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, sure. Yeah, get in here. I step aside and let Tiff back in. I can't help but wonder what it is this time. Tiff walks into the kitchen and has a seat on the table. She watches me attentively. I sit down to join her, thinking of what to ask first. So... So, Sonyx, I'm sorry to drop in on you out of the blue like this. And I apologize if this is too poor of me. I just feel a bit odd today. Okay, Tiff. What is this about? Hold on! Are you high again? Sonyx, you didn't think I kicked that habit in a single day, did you? I hope you don't blame me for feeling anxious. I've never really done this before. Done what? Tiff, just what do you have in mind here? Well, uh, it's Sonyx. The thing is, I'm kind of into you. And I'm wondering if you are, if you are kind of into me too. You're into me? Yeah, I really, really like you. Like, in that way. That way? Uh... Sorry that I seem so surprised. Just why? I'm not sure what you see in me. Are you kidding? That's hardly a downside to you. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not good at words. I can't rap. Anyone can rhyme if they try. <clears throat> but I can't dance either. I'm awful at it. Uh, there's no reason you can't learn. You're even better than me at video games. Face it, I'm a no-talent loser. That is the truth. And even if it it wouldn't bother me. I'm not completely sure what, what it is myself. But something about you speaks to me in a way I've never felt before. I can just tell you something. I, 
I can't just tell your subword special, so I had to ask. Do you feel it too? Tiff, I... I don't know. What makes you so unsure? Is something wrong? <clears throat> I, uh... Is it something about me? Tiff, I don't... Don't what? Why do you love me, Sidex? I can handle it. There are plenty of reasons to dislike me. Just take your pick. Hey, hold on. Don't get me wrong here. First of all, you're a perfectly likable person. Not likable enough, apparently. Stop! You have no reason to get all down on yourself. Then why, Sonyx? Why do you think it's wrong? What do you think is wrong with me? It's not you. Just let me finish. For starters, I don't know how I feel yet. You kind of just sprung this on me. Okay, that's fair. And you see, the real thing is... I'm not the kind of person who just dives into a relationship. Tip, you're incredibly nice. It's been wonderful spending time with you. But it hasn't even been a week. We only met a few days ago. I don't know what it is you're feeling. But a connection like this needs time to grow. Do you understand? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I think I let desperation get the bad with me. I got a crazy thought in my head, I just ran with it. It's alright. There's nothing wrong with having emotions. I just don't want to give you the wrong idea. It's not a decision I like I take lightly. Last week Sayori confessed her love to me and I told her I want want to save friends. We've known each other other we know each other more more than long enough. I don't know if that if that's how I really feel. It's kind of the opposite with you, but I won't deny the possibility. Though, if I'm being honest, the drug use is pretty unsettling. That I definitely can't blame you for. I know I should quit for my own good. Of course I'm addicted. But things haven't really gotten any easier for me either. I get it. The social anxiety and... No, Sonyx. I said there was more to it. I didn't tell you why I started. And I kind of feel like I owe you, owe it to you now. Are you sure? I won't force it out of you. Yes, I'm sure. Who knows? Maybe I'll help to get it off. Maybe I'll help to get it off my chest. I mentioned how my mother started smoking after we moved. And that I did as well a few years later. But the reason she did and the reason we moved are one and the same. Back then, we were trying to get out of a bad, of a bad situation. Our country had just elected its first black president, and people in my area got bitter. Real bitter. Shortly after, my dad got pulled over by a crook cop, and, and things got out of hand. He was arrested? Sonny X, he was killed! What? Oh no! Tip, I'm so sorry. It was very long ago. I, I, say, I'm, I, say, I say I'm over it, but that sort of thing never really leaves you. But at the time, we were devastated. He was everything to us, and we were in a real mess without him. My mom was terrified that once of us that one of us would be next. She got us out of there as quick as, as quick as she could. We moved halfway around the world just to leave it all behind. Back then, I was too young to understand it. I couldn't imagine why anyone would do that to another person. As I grew up, I came to realize, not just the reason why, but that it's something I may never get away from. There's so much need Needless hate out there. It was all I could do to that numb that to numb that feeling and try to forget about it. Tiff, that's so horrible. That should have never happened to you or your family. I just do my best to get by, live and let live. I can't control how people think, so I try to keep it to myself. 
That's so unbelievable. Anybody who thinks like that is beyond ignorant. If that's the way they are, then they're the ones who deserve to be hated. No, Sonyx, don't you see? Hatred forms a cycle. Two wrongs don't make a right. I just trust that people will treat each other as people. I have to pause and think on that for a moment. I'm completely blown away. <clears throat> but Tip, but Tip to have been through what she has and still feel like this? Yeah, you're right. More anger doesn't solve anything. <clears throat> I'm just sorry that I'm just sorry that happened to you in the first place. It's a dreadful ugly thing. But you know, if it had it happened, I never would have met you or gotten to join the club. Not saying it was a bad thing, just counting my blessings. Well, I'm certainly glad to have you around, and I think the others are warming up to you as well. I'm really sorry to hear you've had it so rough, but now you have a club full of friends you can count on. Thank you, Sun X. I feel like things are starting to look up. And I'm so grateful that y'all accepted me as I am. It's the least we can do. If nothing else, you're all right by us. Huh? That's reassuring. Anyway, I think I better get going. Thanks for having me over. I can't. Hey, I told you any time. Didn't I? Huh? You sure did. Tip gets up and makes her way to the door. I follow her outside. See you in the club on Monday. I'll be there. But if you want to drop by sooner, I might practice in that game a bit more tonight. Don't get too cocky now. Don't get too cocky. Haha. <laughs> but hey, before I go... She just kissed MC, didn't she? Haha. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I could I just couldn't resist. Tip waves goodbye and sets off down the street. Thinking back on our discussions, it's just so shocking to me. How people treated her before and the tragedy her family faced. I guess she was doing more than just taking the edge off. As the evening drags on, I just can't get her off my mind. It's a shame about her addiction. But it's an understandable in a sad sort of way. She said she really liked me. Could I grow to feel the same way about her? If there's anything I could do, it would have to wait for now. It's almost time for bed. Tiffany, you have a place where you belong. Is there anything you're worried about? Tiffany. Well, is it a drug problem? The family issues? Oh, boom! It seems as though this club is just a magnet for, for troubled teens. But really, what Tiff wants isn't anything that's demanding. To be just like the tree the same as everyone else. Sonic was wrong, you know. It's kind of a decency. Of course, no doubt that will ever fix our past. Wow. <sighs> Just when you thought you've seen everything in these mods, that's gotta be one of the most shocking revelations I've ever seen. And that's from an OC. But that concludes Tip's route in DDLC Just DLC Take 2. I'm still shocked by that outcome. What she went through. I don't even know what else to say. The next time I'll do DLC Take 2, it's either gonna be Sayuri or Shiro. Sonya X17 is signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.